Hello Gaudi class and welcome to this week's PHSE lesson. We're going to look at ways we can express ourselves this week and you're going to need a partner. Again, this can be an adult, someone in the room, or it can just be a toy, someone that you can talk to out loud. And I have Touche the Turtle with me again today. So this week is Children's Mental Health Week. And you might already know that. You might have seen Miss Turner's assembly or seen the sheet that she sent out to everybody with some ideas on what you can do. But what is mental health? So turn to your partner and tell them what you think mental health is. So our mental health is how we think, feel and act. It also controls how we interact, how we get to get work well with or not with other people, how we handle difficult situations and the choices we make. So it's very important to look after our mental health. Sometimes we just don't feel like ourselves. Things are upsetting us or bothering us and we just things don't feel right. We don't feel right in our own skin. And that's when our mental health isn't so fantastic. So one of the ways that we can look after our mental health is to notice how we're feeling and to share that with other people, especially when we're not feeling right. So every year we have Children's Mental Health Week and every year it has a theme. So this year the theme is express yourself. So turn to your partner and tell them what you think it means if you express yourself. So expressing yourself is about finding ways to share your feelings. Um, and this could be um, through art or music, dancing, writing, doing things that make you feel good. You. You know, it isn't about being the best at anything or putting on a performance. It's about finding a way to help you feel good about yourself. So this is my way. This is what I do when I'm not feeling myself. And what I do to relax and make me feel better about myself. So when I'm upset or confused or worried or stressed, I like to crochet. So I like to make things that uses a hook and wool. And this is a blanket that I made just before Christmas. Um, and when I look at this blanket, it cheers me up because I made that and I'm really proud of myself. I made a blanket from just some balls of wool and a needle. I followed a pattern. I didn't create it. I didn't make it up. I followed instructions, but I have this blanket now that I made. Other times I like to bake cakes or cookies for my families and friends because doing something nice for other people also makes me feel better about myself. And if I'm slightly angry inside, then that's a really good one because I can mix the ingredients and then that helps to make me feel a bit calmer. So that is it. So it's now your turn, your task. And your task is to express yourself. Do something that makes you feel good about yourself. So if you are already feeling good, that's fantastic. And um, this isn't about making yourself sad so that you can make yourself feel better. This is just about doing something that makes you feel good, cheers you up inside. So I've given you a few suggestions, but you don't have to do any of these. You can do something completely unique to you, just something that you enjoy doing. So maybe you could wear your favorite clothes or sing your favorite song dance to your favourite piece of music, watch your favourite movie, draw a picture of something that you like, write about your favourite memory, read your favourite book, and maybe you could cuddle up with your favourite toy and read it. If you want to share what you've done on Tapestry, then please do. But sometimes these things are personal and you might not want to share it with everybody. You might want to just share it with somebody in your home. And that's absolutely fine. So we're going to trust that you've done this, even if you don't share it, because maybe, you know, like me, I love singing, but you don't want to listen to me sing. It's not pleasant. So I wouldn't want to put that on tapestry and make you all have to listen to that. You'd be like, no. So you don't have to share it. If you want to, you are welcome to do so. If you don't want to, you don't have to. 
And then next time you aren't feeling like yourself, you can remember what you did and try doing something that makes you feel good about yourself. It's really important we look after our mental health and talk to someone when we don't feel right. And even grown-ups need to do that. So maybe you could ask your grown-up what they do to make themselves feel better.